Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Create your own website, online store, or portfolio all in one platform with the help of Squarespace. Hello friends, welcome to another studio vlog. I'm doing something that I've never done before. I'm gonna be taking you through the whole process, start to finish, spending today priming the box, and tomorrow we're gonna paint the whole thing. Never done a mural before, I've never done like a public art thing. And usually I would say no to these types of things because they're so out of my comfort zone, but I just decided to say yes, I'm gonna do it, see if I like it. I'm so used to like small art, like this big. So we'll see how it is. The only criteria for this mural was that there has to be some sort of fish in it, which, you know guys, I love painting fish. So I was like, heck yeah. I read like two articles on how to paint an electrical box and I feel ready. Looking for paint trays, rollers. We yeah, need all the colors of paints. I already have primer and top coat and stuff. car is packed with all our supplies back there and it's already six o'clock so we plan on washing it sanding it washing it again and then priming it and then tomorrow will be a day of just painting and we're heading there now so we'll see how musty crusty and dusty this box is there she is there she is and it is looking a little crusty uh, there's like some graffiti on it and then like this side there's some gum it's kind of gross ew this is our setup over here we have like water we have water jugs in gallons because there's no water source so we have jugs uh we have soap and then we have a nice sander so the cameraman's gonna sand everything and then we're gonna wipe everything down. And I hope you could hear me in this. Okay, we're almost done sanding. After the first wash, this water is freaking nasty. So loud here. I wish I brought gloves. Ew. Ew, this water's literally black. <laughs> I think that's enough. Yeah. Okay, we have done three coats on the box. It's finally looking pretty opaque. Looks good, so we're gonna finish for the day. But the last thing I wanna do, measure the box. We are here for day two, and the first thing I'm gonna do is sketch out my design here. So I'm just gonna tape it up there, and yeah, I brought I brought a Posca pen, a pencil, and then a green pencil. So we will see which one works the best. Okay, sketch is all done, all four sides. I ended up just using pencil. It actually worked really well and yeah, it was kind of hard doing it freehand, but I'm glad I just had like a plan in front of me of what I needed to do. It's 11.30, I started at 10. It's 11.30, I started at 10-ish, 10.30. So that took me about an hour. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna start. Uh, it's not gonna be super crazy because this is white, so it won't be super dramatic.
light blue is done. And it's literally so hot outside, I'm dying. So I think I'm going to, I have, I have a bunch of the blue left, so I think I'm gonna mix light green now, and then do light green next after I take a little break. Okay, kind of at the halfway point now, so I'll show you what it looks like, and then I'm gonna take a lunch break. So, let's start at the beginning of the river. Let me explain a little bit what I'm doing here. So my method was to paint by color. So I started with the colors in the background and then moved up layer by layer. Once I started, I got into it and realized it's kind of just like any other painting I've ever done and it wasn't as scary. Like I just forgot that I was on the street and it felt like I was just painting at my desk or something and just the canvas happened to be super big. My first mistake though was thinking that this would take me a day. It ended up being a week long process and I worked for around six to eight hours every day. It probably was about maybe 32 to 40 hours in total, I would say. And now I'd like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Create your own website, online store, or portfolio all in one platform with the help of Squarespace. My website is basically a landing page for all my information. It houses my shop, contact info, and portfolio all in one. I've had my website for years and created it using one of their many beautifully designed templates. It is very, very easy to customize it to your own brand and style too. You can add your logos, add your brand colors, all that good stuff. So whether you're looking to showcase your art portfolio, build an e-commerce site, or even start a blog, Squarespace is where you could do it all. Having a professional website where people can view your work and have access to your contact info is super important when you're doing commission projects like this. The client is able to get a sense of who you are and what you're all about. I'm in the process of rebuilding my portfolio, so once I get some nice pics of this mural, you know it'll be going up on my website. It's so easy to upload and edit photos on Squarespace too. They have great tools for building out custom pages that are I, trust me, very easy to use. If you're looking to create a website, head to squarespace.com slash katiemind to try it for free. And when you're ready to launch, get 10% off your new site. The link will be in my description. I've always been a person who is scared to take risks or I just psych myself out of a project because I don't think I'm qualified enough. But recently I'm starting to shift my mindset and tell myself that I am because you know, everyone has to start somewhere, you know? Even if it's the first time I do something and it turns out bad, I still did it and I should be proud of myself for doing it. Art I've learned over the years is like such a slow process. You're not gonna wake up one day and be a master, but what you can do is keep practicing and take new risks every day, whether they're small, like trying out a new color that you don't use or big like painting a public mural like this 
So if you're a new artist out there, don't give up on yourself and don't be afraid to do something just because you've never done it before. Every artist, I swear, like is in the same boat. And even the artists that you look up to who have been in the industry for 30, 40 plus years also feel the same way. So don't be afraid, okay? <laughs> It, so I mixed some white into it and now it's a little bit lighter. Yeah, this yellow looks a lot better than this one. It's currently raining and I need to finish the mural before I leave for London literally tomorrow. Oh, and I wasn't able to finish all the details on the mural. And I was planning to go back today, but it's raining. It's been like a nice day, then raining, and then a nice day, and then raining, which has been super annoying because I just want to finish the mural and I'm leaving for London literally tomorrow. So the other app is saying that the rain's supposed to stop around like two three o'clock so i'm really hoping i can like go after that but yeah it's super cloudy today yesterday i painted for around eight straight hours and i really was thinking about pushing through it but i was so hungry and tired i couldn't stay there so trying to go back there today and hopefully it stops raining everyone everyone pray it stops raining it, it stopped raining for a little bit so we're on our way to the mural but we hear a little bit of thunder so it's a little bit scary well, i only have one day to finish this oh also i hope that no one graffitis on it so fingers crossed day four there she is
What the fuck? Not even a minute in, it literally started hailing. What the heck? Now we're recording. Is it too bright or too bright? We're painting the fish right now. We waited like two hours for it to stop raining, and we're fighting sunset right now. So we're trying to. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Yeah. 